Hi folks, Technivorous here. Welcome to my Kira playlist. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button so you can find your way back here. I update often. That said, as you may have noticed, Kira settings can be very simple or very in-depth. So I took the time to make a video about each section in the custom settings menu, and I'm going to quickly go over the important settings each section contains and briefly explain them. Are you ready? Good. Let's go. This is Kira settings in five minutes or less. Okay, so the next setting we're going to discuss is going to be line width. So we covered initial layer height basically at the same time as layer height. And we're going to cover all the settings that are indented in below line width, width line width, as well as the initial line width. Now you'll notice down here the initial line width itself is actually listed in a percentage, which is interesting. You can increase or decrease that percentage to widen or thin out the line a little bit. Now, when the initial line becomes too thick they start to cross over each other too much and you get a raised bump through your print where the nozzle travels um, where the initial layer line height is, or width is too thin the lines don't make contact and you end up with a separated first layer now these problems normally correct themselves as you travel up but what happens is you're actually putting down an unstable base and you're not extruding the proper amount of filament so what you want is to ensure that the layer line width or excuse me the initial line width is putting down just enough filament to give you a smooth sheet it should be seamless without any raises or pits in it and that is a little bit difficult to achieve at first once you get used to dialing in the settings and leveling your bed out to where it needs to be it becomes second nature and rather simple now you can see I can also increase my line width but I can't print wider than the nozzle itself. And this seems like a misnomer and it kind of is. You can uh, increase past the nozzle width by a small percentage, but if you decrease, and it says right here, slightly reducing this value could produce better prints. So if I'm using a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, the ideal thing to shoot for would be about 0.38 to 0.39 millimeter line width because that's slightly under the width of the nozzle and therefore easier to extrude because you have to remember as it's dragging especially that first layer it's smashing it down into the bed as well and it's going to widen out a little bit so this is the real thing to play with in order to get that first layer smooth and get the glass sheet like appearance by using the line width and the initial layer line width adjustments very very handy and let's take a look at Let's say, let's say we had a larger nozzle on here, 0.6. We'll slice this and check out the noticeable difference between the layer height and the line width down on the first layer. It shouldn't be exactly round. Let's see, we'll zoom down here. Let's see, maybe, there we go. Now you can see that the lines are wider than they are tall. That is because they are 0.6 millimeters wide. The slicer will do that regardless of your nozzle width. Whether or not the print will actually work is another story. So you need to keep in mind your nozzle width when working with the line width. And general rule of thumb is increasing the layer line width will increase adhesion but it can also lead to over extruding and decreasing the line width will decrease extrusion which won't generally lead to under extrusion but it will lead to an underformed bottom layer which is never a good thing so as always this channel is brought to you by these fine patreon supporters if you'd like to support the channel on patreon head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous That's going to be it for this video. As always, I am Technivorous, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our main channel page where we do a free giveaway for our subscribers every month. So far, we've given away things like a Capricorn PTFE tubing kit and spools of filament. So the giveaway videos are always pinned to our main channel page. So all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment on the giveaway video for the current contest. Feel free to check out this video right here. YouTube picked it for my content just for you. And if you haven't already, you can hit the subscribe button right here. So what are you waiting for? Become a technivore now. Thanks again. Technivorous out.